everybody just woke up a little bit ago getting this place opened up <coughs> what a view <laughs> to wake up in the morning and to see what the beautiful world we live in huh look at that all those chemtrails and you see how nice and bright they are Look at them. They're just zipping them up everywhere. It feels like that one song, like zippity doo da, zippity zay. I sure am glad that I know what's going on. Zippity doo da, zippity zay. Look at that. Is that not like, wow, what is, you know? You know what? I had a dream, a couple of them last night, man. A couple of them. Let me uh, get situated. And these clouds are like, wow. Amazing, you know? Amazing. <coughs> um. Oh, look at that. Mm. Look at this. I can't be attached. Can you guys see? See how they're spraying them straight up? They're going in major cross crosses like that. Would you believe me if I told you that they're trying to hide the coming of our Lord? Would you believe that? The devil knows his time is very short. And he's trying to get as many. See how those two are getting ready to, the one going up and the one going across there? They're getting ready to meet there like they're building a TV screen. They're trying to build a screen. See, I honestly do believe that they could project from space. Because we know we got projectors up there. You know that. And with satellite, Project Blue Beam. You've heard of that, Blue Beam? Well, if you don't think that they can't put up a silver screen and then force a beam to shine down here, they can create a whole new big picture for you. Just like these big screen TVs you got in your television, in your homes. You know, that's what that is. Once that stuff, if that cracks in there, it's no good. You know what I mean? But look at all that stuff they're spraying up there, man. There's no reason. They're not doing no ozone thing. They're hiding. They're hiding. It's all they're doing is they don't want you to see what's coming. But boy, that was like really big to see that this morning. Then you notice it's just right where the sun is coming up to you, huh? Right where the sun's coming up. Boy, they're hot and heavy at it too. Then you see these uh, cell phone towers everywhere. It's not just a couple. I mean, they're all over the place. That's why I say be careful when you put those phones in your ears. These people are trying real hard to get in your head. But these dreams that I had last night. I had a dream where uh, people were coming over to my house. And um, this one person, I said, come on in. And they're like, no, they wouldn't come in. You know. Other people were coming over. They had one bag. With them. There wasn't a lot of people. There's probably, I'm going to say, maybe five of us there. There's me and another person I was talking to. And three other people showed up. So yeah, there's five of us there. And uh, the other person stood out in the hallway, wouldn't come in. And uh, I felt like we were getting ready to go on a trip, you know? We were getting ready to go. But then later I ended up, I woke up from that and then this early this morning I had another dream where 
you see all this stuff that they're doing with their spraying I almost feel like as if everything we see around us here man like it was created um, you know, like it's an illusion that's what it feels like to me like we're trapped we're, we're trapped in an illusion you know that's where that deja vu came in you know like that morning when I woke up killed a snake out in my kitchen and the next morning in the exact same spot was another snake exact same size everything man I mean it was like exactly the day before and it made me pause for a moment and I was like I did this yesterday I mean, if it would have been in another spot or something like that, or a different size snake or something, and it came right in the morning when I came walking out, you know, that's what was really weird. You know, and I feel like these guys, what they're doing here, they're hiding. They're hiding something. Let, let, now, we know the Word of God, it says that everybody's going to see Him coming by the brightness of His coming. He's going to be really, really bright. So we know these are the end times. Sadly, the military don't know it. They're over there trying to hide and help the devil. But we know Area 51, what that was about. They've always been working with the devil from the beginning. That's what all this technology is. You know, when your churches say this is God's gift to me. God didn't do this, man. They just kept adding that every, everything they can add to their blessings. Boy, they just keep saying, we're blessed for this, we're blessed for that. You know? When, it, when they get left behind, hmm, they're going to be thinking, whoa, I thought we were blessed with all this. What happened? You know? But look at, I want you to look where that sun is. Then I want you to look at that cloud that they spray through it. Look at how it reacts. It even gets brighter with the sun on it. It doesn't get, uh, don't it? It gets brighter with the sun shining on it, don't it? On the bottom one, just above the building, you see how much more brighter that vapor cloud is? They're trying real hard. And look at how they're crossing. It's like they're making a grid. A grid. G-R-I-D. Remember I said I wanted to get off grid for a while? Get off grid. I have a feeling this. they're making grids. And they hide stuff on it. You know, they're trying to hide the truth. Lord's coming. Remember it says where he's going to pull back that veil? The, the skies roll back like a scroll? That's what's getting ready to happen. Oh. Boy, let me tell you something. I'll be glad when this is over. I am like really tired of this. I just woke up. You guys can probably tell, huh? My eyes are all squinchy and I'm going to uh, go down and have a little bit of breakfast. Then I'm going to uh, probably go down to that campsite. This place right up the road is closed still. I guess they got plumbing issues. So I guess I'll go to that other one. It's a little, it's a little further. But you guys see this. All this, you gotta remember, man, this government doing this. Remember Area 51, okay? Don't be deceived. They've, they've been hiding stuff from the beginning. From the very beginning. Ooh. What are you talking about? Wow. The brightness of his coming. Let me tell you something. After the, uh, five whys are taken I'm going to tell you something when the five whys are taken wow that's like bright I'm going to
I show it to you as soon as I get over here. Trees are kind of blocking it. But look at how big it is. I want you to see it. You're going to have to see it through the trees. Look at how big it is. That's not like the normal sun, my friends. You guys know what the sun looks like. It's never that big. You see what I'm saying? If that is, it's so close now, it's unbelievable. You're going to get a good view of it maybe once I start going down this road where I get my pancakes. Wow. Listen, I know what the sun looks like. I spent 50, almost 57 years of my life looking at it. Now you look at that, you look at how big that is. You see how huge that is? And they're trying to spray those things in front of it to hide it. But you look at how big that sun is. Now I've got Now you notice all the chemtrails. They're right in front of that, aren't they? You see it? The sun's a lot bigger than it normally is, ain't it? Doesn't the Bible say the brightness of his coming? Amen. Yes. I'm looking directly at it, man. Let that light in. That dream I had, people, it was like people were coming over, had their bags packed, ready to go someplace. See, they're hiding it. They're trying to hide his coming. Ain't that a shame? Our own government. They don't, if they knew what was written in the Bible, they would know that it says that in these end days. And look at the perverted lifestyle, all that being legalized. It's like, come on, man, wake up. You know what I mean? You could clearly see it, though, couldn't you? I know you did. I do. The Word of God says that, too. You'll see him coming with the brightness of his coming. The sad thing is, most people, they just get up, they don't even notice what they're doing. The real sad part is, not only that they don't notice it, even if they did notice it, they don't care. They feel, oh, they'll be fine. I'm grateful the children can be taken out of here. <laughs> That's what the Bible says for the brightness of his coming. Get ready, my friends. Get ready. You guys, I wanted to share those dreams with you this morning. I got to go in and grab me a bite to eat that I got to go down to that shower place or uh, that camping place so I can take a shower. You see, I'm still asleep, huh? Ooh, man. It's like you don't really get a good night's rest inside this thing anyhow, you know? You never do. God bless you guys. I hope and pray that you guys got something out of this message. And uh, look up for our redemption draws near. It's not long, you guys. We'll be out of here real soon. Like I said, sadly, most people don't even realize what's written in the Word of God. That includes a lot of the churches. They've been stuck with this prosperity for a long time. God bless you guys. See the description box.